Meteorologist Paul Deano here with his full next weather forecast. The storm Paul. does not want to leave. Even in its wake, it is still raining lightly in portions of Orange County and the Inland Empire, the 215 corridor. Uh, close to Lake Elsinore and Paris, just south of you in Riverside. A few showers around Chino Hills. Uh, basically, the moisture is hitting the Santa Ana's. That just causes a little bit of lift in the atmosphere, and we're firing off a few showers. San Bernardino, some scattered showers. Most of us are dry. We're beginning to get the sunshine, but sometimes storms just kind of want to hang on, and this one, which will not be forgotten for a while, uh, does not want to entirely leave. Last year, through the third week of March, we had had a grand total of one third of one inch of rainfall, two and a half months. What's normal? About nine. This year, almost two feet. We've had 60 times more rain this year compared to last year, at least through this far. <laughs> we don't want any more. 59 degrees, mainly cloudy over downtown Los Angeles. We're beginning to see the blue sky. We will continue to see some blue sky, but we're not going to warm up that much. Mid 50s from 1 o'clock through 5 o'clock. Uh, optimistically speaking, we'll call it partly cloudy skies, but some of you out toward Riverside and San Bernardino, uh, you may get a few slivers of sunshine, and that's it. Look at these highs. Should be in the low 70s, mid 50s. That is it. Riverside 54. Laguna Beach for you, 58, 60, 61 degrees for downtown LA, out west to Thousand Oaks and Camarillo and Van Nuys and also Porter Ranch coming in about 61 degrees. Lancaster, you're under a wind advisor. You'll be windy today, mid 50s. So the storm is gone, but behind the storm, just like if a boat goes by, you're stuck with the wake for a couple minutes. Well, this is the wake of the storm and we still have a little bit of unstable air still here over Southern California. So we are firing off a few showers and Futurecast says that'll continue, especially in the San Bernardinos and San Gabriel's through the afternoon. And then things finally begin to decrease overnight tonight and we could finally say goodbye to not only the rain showers, but also the clouds. Tomorrow will be a mostly sunny day. Weekend just looks super nice. Saturday, mainly sunny. Sunday, mainly sunny. Not crazy warm, but milder, up to a high of 68 degrees both weekend days. There is another storm coming next week. It is tracking farther to the north, and it likely will not tap into tropical moisture. So what that means, we may get some showers or light rainfall, but a repeat of a three-day washout with all the severe weather and all the stuff we've been having that likely will not happen. But there is a rain chance toward the middle of next week. We'll keep you posted. Today, only a high of 61. By Saturday, we're up to 68 with full sunshine. Monday, 71 degrees. That rain chance moves in toward the middle of next week. Five straight dry days for our valleys once we shake these showers this morning. Inland Empire could be a few leftover showers for the next hour or two. You'll get up to about 63 for the upcoming weekend. In our high desert, it's about the wind today and tomorrow, even with some sunshine. Less wind, keep the sunshine over the weekend. Beaches, the better beach day will be Saturday with a high of 63, but Sunday's still looking good. And final stop is the mountains. Some snow showers now, but excellent skiing and boarding conditions. Now we get to enjoy all of that powder coming up on Saturday and Sunday. That's your KCAL forecast.